Hello from Zakopane, Poland. Do you think we should turn around? We were more than less unprepared for this. We're insane, you guys. Talk about an incredibly clean and nice national park bathroom. Props, Poland. This is so good. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently call Germany our home. If you've been following our journey, our American parents recently flew into Germany to spend some time with us. So far, we have introduced them to the German Autobahn, explored Innsbruck, Austria, and experienced a beautiful winter wonderland in the Dolomites. After that, we explored the more than 1,000 year old town of Quidlinburg, situated in the Harz Mountains. We've had a lot of foodie experiences too as we introduced them to one of Germany's most popular street foods, the Duna. We also tried many other traditional German foods such as schnitzel, pork shoulder, white asparagus, bratwurst, and sauerkraut. We hit the streets of Rokal, Poland and taste tested traditional Polish food. <laughs> ranch. That tastes like ranch. In this video, we find ourselves caught in a snowstorm while hiking in the Tatra Mountains. But hey, we have fun and find quite possibly the most underrated national park in Poland and Slovakia. We are here near the Tatra Mountains. It's a national park here in Poland and Slovakia. In fact, the border goes right in the middle of the national park. We're so excited to be here. It's windy, it's rainy, so unfortunately the weather's not on our side, but luckily we're still able to see some good views and experience it from the ground. We're ending out our road trip here. It's been a fun one. We were in the Harz Mountains in Germany. We went over to Roklaw, Poland, and then we went down to Auschwitz, which was a very touching experience. Now we're here in the Tatra Mountains, and then we're gonna drive through Czechia to get there we have to go through Slovakia and so it's fun a fun road trip for us Tanner hasn't taken this much work off for a while so it's been exciting to spend the time with our family we're sad that our trips coming to an end though and that they'll be headed back to Utah soon in the meantime we're gonna spend the next couple days here relaxing we're going to the famous hot springs it's the largest one here in Poland and we're just gonna soak it in relax and rest look what we found here in Poland we have not seen Willa's name anywhere in fact it was just a name that we made up we really like the name Willa but we thought of Willa and loved that but here they have them all over and when we put it in Google Translate like we expected it stands for Villa so a place to stay there's a lot of them here in Poland it's kind of fun just makes us smile seeing them what was that scale for <laughs> growing restless in the Searching for a brighter day Leaving yesterday behind oh. Looking forward into the light I found you A world brand new Do you think we should turn around? Almost to the waterfall. We're almost there. I think so. Not sure. All I do know is that we were more than less unprepared for this. We're okay though. It's not too slushy, not too icy, but it is starting to snow. Luckily, we're warm enough. We we'll weren't see. really planning on hiking. Well, that's true. We really weren't, or else we'd be more prepared. But it's still, it's really beautiful. We drove to the park entrance this morning, thinking that we were just gonna take a look and see what it was like on the map. But then we noticed that there was a trail and a waterfall a little less than a mile away. So we decided to park at one of the free parking spots, we think, we hope, and we made our way up here. The entrance fee was only 16 zloty. That's probably the cheapest national park that we've ever been to compared to the States where it's like 80, maybe 100 now to get into some of those parks, depending on which one you go to. So we're pretty pumped about that. Let's hope that the weather stays just snowing right now and not raining until we make it to the waterfall. Finally, I feel alive. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, what a rain it would be. All right, here's the, the rain? here's the waterfall, guys. I'm just kidding, I don't know. Well, now you guys know where we get our craziness from. <laughs> In tennis shoes, we really weren't equipped, but they're up for it. My parents are the best, what do you guys say? Going on all these crazy adventures, it's coming down if you can see on my coat, my hair. We just keep going up. We're insane, you guys. But we're having so much fun. So that's all that matters. It's another third of a mile. Third of a mile? I'm fine. Elevation. 
Oh, sorry, it's another seven tenths of a mile, three tenths of a mile elevation. Oh, yeah. So that's a little bit more. We can just be happy with this one. Yep. Yeah, it's it's a good elevation change. What? Can you go back to the car? Let's go. That was our end destination. The whole thing was our end destination. We're not gonna go. Yeah, the whole thing was our whole end destination. It's about the journey, not the destination. We think the conditions are such that we should turn around. Uh... You guys, talk about an incredibly clean and nice National Park bathroom. Props, Poland. It even had an automatic flusher and a Dyson hand dryer. We are just about making it to our car now and the snow is starting to come down as hard if not harder than it has been the whole time. The pinnacle of the trip besides the waterfall is definitely these bathrooms I would have to say. This is the nicest set of bathrooms in a national park right next to a hiking trail that I've ever been to. Willa absolutely loved eating the snow off the brim of my hat and my jacket here so her manos are really cold right now. We've been trying to warm them up, huh? Should we go and get warm in the car? Yes. Luckily she had yes. all of our snow stuff other than that. Daddy came prepared for her. Mostly. And the views are incredible along the way. We kept saying it like very picturesque. So yes, the bathroom was cool, but not as cool as the views here in the National Park. Would highly recommend. If you want a winter wonderland experience, then you can still get it in April. But if you want summer weather, then definitely come late summer. I would say anywhere from July to September probably offers you the best weather. We're ending at our day here at a restaurant at Stick Chalupa, which had thousands of amazing ratings online. So we're putting it to the test tonight, getting some authentic Polish food, trying some Polish sausages and other dumplings. So we're really excited. There are a ton of people here. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. And when we got in here, we snagged one of the last tables and people just keep coming and going. So hopefully that's a good sign. Tanner really was relaxing this afternoon, huh babe? Oh yeah, I took like a two hour nap. And it it was great. Absolutely great. What did we do with that? Did you go swimming? In your swimsuit? That looks like some cheese and bacon and cranberry sauce, right? You got some bacon with it? For our starter, we got the grilled osapek, which is a sheep's cheese with cranberry and bacon. The bacon looks absolutely delicious. So does the cheese. Will is loving her bacon. You can definitely taste the bacon grease like on the outside of that. I'm not gonna lie, it almost tastes like bacon the entire thing. I think that's just because of the bacon grease. It definitely has a nice smoked flavor to it. I think the cheese does have a little bit of a sweet side to it. I'm not all together with the cranberry sauce. Very good. Oh yeah, I'm really glad we got this. Next we have some mixed meat pierogies that have some diced ham on top as well. They look and smell amazing. Very soft, boiled pierogies. Here we go. Mm. The insides are minced all together and the texture is a lot like tuna meat. Some interesting different flavors, fun to try. And we also got Willa some sweet cheese pierogies. Steve's burger looks delicious. Do the Polish sausages and the lamb kebab. That one's and those pork like tenderloin. Really awesome. Willa's getting her assorted mixture of everything. Yeah. <laughs> drooling over here. Well, Willa, what do you think? Is it chilly outside? A little cold? It's been pretty fun. The restaurant foods were delicious, although very hearty. And all of us standing up, we realized how full <laughs> we all were from that very hearty meal. The tenderloin that I had was really delicious. Ow, 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 ow. How are you saying ow, ow, too? Ow, ow, mommy. Well, we know Skittles taste a little bit different than the ones that we bought here. We got some other traditional treats, which look like they have lemon-flavored stuff on them, so I'm not sure if it's a caramel. What do you think, Willa? <laughs> 
Oh, wow. It's like caramel, faint hint of lemon. I want to like show you guys. If you can see, there's like an outer edge and then you bite into it and then it's like chewy in the middle. Not expecting it, but it's nice. I don't really like caramels that much, but it's a little lemon flavor. It's not bad. So when we were in the grocery store, of course, we had to go to the chocolate section and we found these chocolates. These okay. ones are made in Warsaw and there were a lot of different varieties here. We got a couple different kinds. We have milk chocolate and then this one that I'm about to try has orange and passion fruit on it. You can see here that there's like a little layer uh, it looks like a milk or cream. We decided to put a pause on that and have Willa go to sleep first. We didn't want her to have a shaker high. Again, this is an orange and passion fruit one. Honestly, I'm surprised. At first, I could only taste the chocolate, but now, oh, even now, yeah, afterwards, I can taste the orange and the passion fruit coming through. It's really good. It reminds me, if you're American watching this, of like a chocolate orange that they sell during Christmas time, except better because the passion fruit comes in on it. My mouth's like watering, makes it more tangy and it's actually really good. The middle doesn't taste like cream. It just tastes like chocolate and now my mouth tastes fruity. So thumbs up for me. This is so good. I've had my second piece now and my mouth is watering again because whatever they put in for the passion fruit, it's kind of like my dad described it as pop rocks, except they don't pop in your mouth, but the flavor like comes out slowly and it lingers and it's so good. By far the most unique chocolate I've ever had. Well, the girls are staying warm inside because it is a chilly Sunday morning here, but we are making our way back to Germany and we're passing through Slovakia. There's probably not any stores that we're gonna be able to pass to today because it's early in the morning, but we made it to this reservoir. It's a pretty beautiful area. We will definitely have to make another trip sometime to see and taste Slovakian food, but for now, this will have to do for this trip. Thanks again for being here, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.